Hey guys, back at it again with a, not a makeup tutorial, this is just a video on how I don't make up every day for school. Okay, I don't make up every day for school, but um, <laughs> when I have time, I will put makeup on, when I have time only. And this is actually going to be chit chat. I know every time, uh, every time I say this is going to be chit chat, I talk for like a couple minutes, like the beginning of the video, and then I just stop talking. But I'm actually going to talk, I have stuff to talk about today. I never have anything to talk about. Like, I don't know. So, yeah. And as you guys can tell, I am three shades darker than I was before and that's because it's tennis season and it is getting really hot like some days it's like windy and regular but every time I feel like every time I have a match it's scorching hot outside so yeah I have like tan lines on my legs and stuff so yeah I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows as always and if you guys notice my eyebrows are done I pluck them myself if you guys want to see a video on how I pluck my eyebrows or tweeze my eyebrows, whatever myself, then I'll make one when my eyebrows grow back out. Because I can't do it now, clearly. But I'm just starting off with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. The same one I use every time. And I'm just going to put my brush outside. And I'm just going to just to my eyebrow. You guys said I was about to be a senior. I think I said that in my last video. That I'm about to be out this beat. It's gonna be magical. I don't even know what I'm gonna do when I graduate. Not as in my career, but um, how reckless I'm gonna be like the day of graduation. Oh god, I, I'm going to be wild because I'm going to already be 18. My birthday is um, in a few weeks actually, but my birthday is always before the year ends. And graduation is like a couple days after the school year ends. So I'm going to already be 18 by the time I graduate. So, which means I can do whatever the freak I want, which is not good, because I'm probably going to be reckless, which is not a good thing. <laughs> See my mom, she sheltered me a lot. I mean, she's more lenient with me because I'm, I'm the last child, but at the same time, she's not lenient at all. She's like extra protective, and I know some parents who don't even give a crap about what their kids do. And, of course, I want my mom to care about what I do, but I don't want her to be so up on me, you know, like if I want to go to a friend's house, or if I want to go to the movies with my friend. Who's this friend? I've never heard her name before, like, who is that? Oh, I have to meet her, I have to, mm, I've never heard, of, you never talked about her before. Like, that's so freaking annoying. And I think that's why when I get of age to do whatever I want, then I'm just going to go ham because I didn't get to do whatever I want growing up. So when I'm grown, or when I think I'm grown, because <laughs> everybody that's 18 thinks they're grown, but when I'm grown up, or when I'm 18, I'm just going to go crazy. I'm just going to do whatever I want, what I want, which isn't a good thing, which is why when I have kids, I want to be in charge, but I don't want to be so in charge to the point where they feel like, okay, when I'm 18, I'm going to do whatever I want, like me, like you don't want your kids to do that, you want them to feel like, okay, I, I've had my time, I don't want my kids to feel like, Oh, I have to sneak and do this and that because 
mommy won't let me and stuff like that because you know the saying strict parents make sneaky kids and it's true hmm. i mean be honest if you have strict parents and they tell you no to go to the movies you're gonna find a way to get there anyway oh that's just how it is but anyway what's the 411 what is up with you guys like are y'all still in school have you got why am i keep dropping this freaking brush i'm so, I'm so stupid <laughs> have you guys had spring break yet my spring break is the first week of april and it's coincidentally it's the same week as my birthday so it's actually my birth week spring break is always my birth week which is why I'm always lit and popping. Where's my concealer wheel? How's life, guys? How's life been treating you? You know, my life's been pretty crazy. It's actually been pretty hard. But I'm getting through it day by day. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in my life. That's not really good, but I just keep on a smile on my face because it'll all get better in time. Just like Jordan Spark said. But, um, yeah. I just gotta keep pushing. I'm pretty sure as soon as summer rolls around, you know what, even during summer probably stuff will still be hard, but things are getting better day by day. And you never know. I don't know. How's you guys life? Is your life crazy too? Are you guys going through stuff? If so, leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. Yesterday, I was at church. Yes, I go to church on Saturdays. If you want me to make a video about it, I will. But anyways, yesterday I was at church. And you know how they have, um... You know how they have Sunday school. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, so it's not called Sunday school. It's called sabbath school so yeah yesterday i was in sabbath school we were talking about depression and mental illnesses and stuff and i'm just wondering have any of you guys been depressed if so about what or i know some people who are depressed because they can't control it it's not really a set reason, but they just can't control it. But some people, certain things make them depressed. Not necessarily a mental illness, it's just something that's making them depressed. If that makes sense. That's what the kids at my church don't make me feel dumb if I'm saying, if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, but you know, there's some people who actually have like depression as a mental illness and have to take medication for it but there's some people who probably experienced a loss like maybe their mom died dad died whatever whoever and they fell into depression you know what i mean you know what i mean by what i'm saying that yeah so i just want to know if any of you guys have been depressed and if it's for a reason or if it's just something that you've been struggling with and if so comment down below I would like to know I think it's interesting not like ooh you're depressed tell me about it but like, I think it's interesting as in different people's stories different people's views but yeah I'm going to conceal my face a little I don't know why I closed this I'm going to conceal my face a little bit but, I need another brush. But like I was saying, life's been a little bit hard for me. 
lately. Just some things have been going on that isn't really good. Stuff that's been going on that's not like that just really bothers me or that's really been putting me down in the dumps. But I'm I don't like to be sad at all, which is why I try to just brush things off by just being sarcastic or being bubbly or funny or happy or whatever. And that's why I make videos and I just, I'm so sarcastic in them and I, just, I thought it'd be funny to just crack jokes about myself just to ignore the fact that I have a lot going on and I can't really put it in words it's like I try to talk about it there's nobody who really understands where I'm coming from or my point of view which really sucks who is it? it's me Nathan you left your pen downstairs yeah I know but yeah, as I was saying, um, it's just some things have been bothering me, and it's hard to talk. It's just hard for me to talk to people because they don't understand what you're going through. Like nobody understands your points of view. I guess that's life. You just have to brush things off. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I hate talking about sad things. I mean, I don't hate talking about the sad things, but I just feel like sad things about myself. I just don't like. Putting that out there on the social web. I used to do that when I was younger. I used to put, you know when you were younger, you used to put, like if you have Twitter or Instagram or whatever. I'm just taking my contour palette right now. I'm just going to use one of these colors just to powder my face. But, um, you know when you're younger and you have Twitter or Facebook or whatever. And you just feel like... You should. You need to put your sadness or whatever you're going through out there, and you really don't because, and you really need to be careful when you do that because you don't know. People might run with your business and stuff like you're putting your business out there, and you really don't need to. It's not really cool. Like when I was in my um, past relationship, if we were having problems, they always want to put on social media. That's not really a good thing or a smart thing to do. Never do that ever. Don't ever. I, in my opinion, don't even, don't even tell people about your relationship problems at all. Don't just, not even your friends, none of your best friends, don't tell them. I just feel like you tell them and you think it feels good to like let it out. But honestly, don't. You'll regret it later on. And if you've ever been in a relationship and you ever um, told your friends about whatever problems you were going on, that were going on in your relationship, then you know why I'm saying that. All I'm doing right now is mixing these two colors, um, this one and this one, and I'm just putting all over my face just because I don't um, wear foundation to school. So this is just a little powder to go over that concealer because... You know, even though, the, even though that concealer really matched my skin super well, I still feel like I need to put like a little powder over it. So, yeah. I'm going to take um, that concealer wheel again. And I have to, um... I don't know if I can, you guys can see that, but I have a lot of veins above my eye. There's actually a story behind that. When I was younger, my mom gave um, me and my sister this medicine in a form of a drink. And it, I'm pretty sure it was probably too strong for me. I was a very, very young. And my sister threw up a little bit, but I threw up a lot. Like, threw up. So much. It was disgusting. I feel so much that I popped the blood vessels in my eye. So I had like, for a long, I had like little red 
pops under here and the veins on the top of my eyelid so I'm just going to cover those up I don't even know if y'all y'all saw that but it's really really like popping out veins because I was throwing up so hard I know that probably sounds so gross <laughs> but I was really it really did not do me justice and it wasn't even medicine I think it was like a form of drink that I guess is supposed to be good for you so she wanted to give it to us but no 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 mm -mm. that's nasty it was it tasted nasty and it just as soon as it as soon as I drank it it came right back up but as you guys know take my favorite favorite palette the Carly by Low palette and I'm just gonna sweep a color of my lids this brown color right right here just a little bit can I help you can I help you Walk away. What? What are you doing? My makeup. Open the door, let me see. No. I want to see your technique. That's what my videos are for. Only like you do your makeup. That's what my videos are for. I don't have internet. Aww. Impossible. You can't see your artist at her work. I want to be one of those people in the background that walks past really fast when you see the video up. How would you walk fast if the doors open? Did you have to no, either come? I mean, those people who walk by, it looks like they're walking by fast when you see the video up. Anyways. Sorry, this is my cat. <laughs> my cat, Juicy. And it was going to my highlighter palette. Are you really recording? Yes. It smells great in here. What is that? Me. Remember when it used to be like this? And this one I'm going to highlight. Oh, you can't see, can you? And then I'm going to take some more of that highlighter. And lastly, eyeliner. Oh, this is a brown brush. This brush is too stiff. We don't speak to make anything from you. What are you talking about? You say it's too stiff. It is too stiff. Let me just clean that up. Clean it up for core. My grandma said to your grandma, I'm going to set your flag on fire. What are you doing? It's one of your eyeliner. The brush is too thick. <laughs> Obviously, is that my watch? Anyways, let me fix that eyeliner I just did by putting. You don't like it? Some powder over it because that brush. What did it? I probably didn't fix it, but oh well. That's what I get for using the wrong brush.
that's what I'm making for dinner. Nick bone. And kind of ring. Cause I don't mind it. That's some rice. That's how it should look. This is messed up. I'm gonna see if I can wipe that off. Probably you should use some oil. Makeup remover. Instead of just water and washcloth. Do you have makeup remover money? I'm not the one trying to be a makeup artist. Neither am I. Grazie, mama, grazie. Okay, so I took some of it off. I'm just gonna fix it a slightly. So that's what you need the spray bottle for? No. For my hair. But I'm just gonna fix it slightly. Get, you see what I'm talking about though? Anyways. You need to get down on that lid. What are you in here? Jeez, someone can't take constructive criticism. But anyways. That's basically my everyday school makeup routine. I don't wear lipstick. I wear lipstick to school. Some days, but majority of the time, I just put on clear lip gloss because, yeah. If I wear lipstick, how I do my makeup at school, y'all. Like, slay. Like, I'm a better bitch up in that bitch. Like, they better watch out because I'm the baddest brother in school. When I have time, this is what I would do. This is what I do. But when I don't have time, you know what I do? I wake up and I put lotion on and I walk out the front door. That's why when those videos be like, every day make your routine for school. I wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. My bus comes at 7.15. Maybe I should wake up earlier. But am I going to? No. I'm not. Cause I have no self-control. I'm gonna sleep and sleep and I'm gonna keep snoozing my alarm. But anyways, I hope you guys think this is cute. I think it would be cute. <laughs>